First, they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. If you're not familiar with Martin, uh, I think it's pronounced Niemöller, Niemöller. Uh, you should do some quick research on that. My general understanding is he was kind of a supporter, go along to get along kind of guy with the Nazis in the uh, 30s. And then at some point, uh, opposed, started to oppose Hitler and be like, wait a second, this is not good. He was a, he was a pastor, I believe was his profession, and uh, ended up getting put in prison and wrote that very, very famous poem uh, to kind of express his regret and mistakes of, that he'd made along the way. I read that poem because I think it really embodies and encapsulates and, and is very salient to the current zeitgeist of America. Uh, if you remember, back when President Trump became president, he uh, made this claim that he just found out, I think it was the FBI, the FBI had been spying on his campaign prior to becoming president. And I remember when he made that claim and I was like, oh, okay, buddy, like, unless you're gonna back that up, like you're, you're way off your rocker here. It turns out though, he was actually right. That is, that is what happened. The problem is, is then he was president and he proceeded to do nothing to really affect that long term. So now you fast forward and we have Tucker Carlson who is now being spied on by the NSA as he revealed in this little clip here. But it's not just political protesters the government is spying on. Yesterday we heard from a whistleblower within the U.S. government who reached out to warn us that the NSA, the National Security Agency, is monitoring our electronic communications and is planning to leak them in an attempt to take this show off the air. Now that's a shocking claim and ordinarily we'd be skeptical of it. It's illegal for the NSA to spy on American citizens. It's a crime. It's not a third world country. Things like that should not happen in America. But unfortunately, they do happen, and in this case, they did happen. The whistleblower, who is in a position to know, repeated back to us information about a story that we are working on that could have only come directly from my texts and emails. There is no other possible source for that information, period. The NSA captured that information without our knowledge and did it for political reasons. The Biden administration is spying on us. We have confirmed that. This morning we filed a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act request, asking for all information that the NSA and other agencies have gathered about this show. We did it mostly as a formality. We've also contacted the press office at both NSA and the FBI. We don't expect to hear much back. That's the way that usually goes. Only Congress can force transparency on the intelligence agencies, and they should do that immediately. Spying on opposition journalists is incompatible with democracy. If they are doing it to us, and again, they are definitely doing it to us, they are almost certainly doing it to others. This is scary, and we need to stop it right away. If that doesn't get you super hot, like if that, if that doesn't make you mad and angry, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is scary stuff. This is communist level China type stuff. The government exists to protect your rights. That is why we institute governments among men, as the Declaration of Independence says. That is, that is one of the founding principles of um, the American Republic, that we have made the government to protect our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What could possibly be protecting your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which pursuit of happiness just means like free enterprise, different to video. Uh, what could possibly be protecting that by the NSA spying on Tucker Carlson in order to discredit him, get him off the air, make him look bad? Like, like what could possibly be the purpose? Is there any legitimate government purpose to that? And the answer is no. And I would say the same if the government was spying on CNN, even though it's a house of lies and I hate CNN. We cannot have the government just spying on people at random with no purpose and no legitimate crime being committed. Uh, this is a gross, gross violation of at least one, probably more like three of your rights. I'd like to say kudos to Tucker Carlson here for just going straight public with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a top dog alpha move. I appreciate you, Tucker Carlson. Please keep doing what you're doing. 
If they can do it to Tucker, what makes you think they can't do it to you or aren't already doing it to you? If we have any hope of this turning around and of this not going bad, we need to start speaking loudly and often about this now. Uh, there's always, of course, going to be people that are like, oh, yeah, well, they should be investigating Tucker Carlson. He's a white supremacist and all, you know, whatever. That's always going to happen. But if we accept that the government can just spy on people to discredit them, that is the end of the government having really any legitimate purpose in America. Uh, if we're going to accept that as American citizens, that's, that's it. That's the end of the country as we know it. Um, you can say goodbye. I'd say it's the beginning of the end, but I don't really know when the beginning was and it was probably before this if we're if we're really honest the point here is that we need to speak now while we can and say something before there's no one left now is the time to speak loudly and often about how horrendous and egregious this is uh you know the longer president trump is out of office the more i realize the kind of mistakes he made and, and the things he didn't do that he should have done um, namely, like pardoning Edward Snowden and Julian Assange, right? I, I say that because if he really cared about liberty and really cared about dismantling the, the deep state, he would have, one, tried to eliminate these organizations entirely. The NSA does nothing to protect your freedom whatsoever. Uh, and two, he would have pardoned the people then that pointed out how terrible those organizations are. But he didn't. He didn't do any of that. Uh, which is deeply, deeply disappointing. I've done another video about how Trump really didn't do anything to advance liberty, and that's a different topic. My point here being that as an American, you need to demand justice from your representatives and your senators, and you should do that now. This is how republics die, of course. It's when the government becomes something that encroaches and crushes over people, much like in communism, uh, rather than something that is there to protect the rights of the people. Uh, we elect these leaders to supposedly do that, and they're not. They're continuing to grow the size of government, and a large government is incompatible with individual liberty. You cannot have a large government and large government apparatuses and have individual liberty. Those, those are mutually exclusive. And as the government continues to grow, and the Republicans are just as bad as the Democrats in this, in this arena, we're gonna continue to have these problems. Until we're able to shrink and control these organizations, uh, and in some cases, like in the case of the NSA, eliminate them entirely, we are gonna continue to have these kinds of problems. And it's only gonna get worse. I continue to fear more and more that this is building somewhere bad. Uh, however, if again, if we hope to avoid that, now is the time to say something before there's no one left to say anything at all. We live in a scary time where the Republic is seemingly disintegrating and tyranny is seemingly advancing. And this is the time when we need men and women to be brave and endure it. So that in hopes that our future generations may live in liberty. Do brave deeds and endure.